Good morning, Chase. Well, US dollar drifted lower in Tuesday's session with the US dollar index giving up a good chunk of Monday's gains. Uh, regional bank fears are at the fore with NYCB continuing its steep decline and otherwise uh, pretty quiet session news-wise. Uh, saw havens uh, of bonds bid, um, sending yields lower and dragging the US dollar down with them. Uh, DXY dipping back below. It's a 100-day moving average there. So Aussie dollar outperformed after a hawkish hold from the RBA um, in their February meeting on Tuesday. The Aussie central bank uh, left rates unchanged as expected, but uh, in a break from other major central banks uh, that have recently removed their tightening bias messaging, it did state that further rate hikes cannot be ruled out, which surprised the market somewhat. So Aussie US pushing up to test that support slash resistance level at 65.25, which will be a, a key level to watch in the week ahead. Uh, lower US yields um, and saw a real drop in yield differentials, support of the Japanese yen with dollar yen dipping below that 148 level. Also a Reuters report that claimed that the bodge is laying groundwork to end uh, its uh, NERP um, policy by April also uh, lending some support to the Japanese currency there. Uh, a weaker US dollar and some haven flows did uh, support the gold price. Um, the haven flows on those bank fears, obviously. Uh, it did bounce higher uh, gold in Tuesday's session after two down days. So XAU USD continues to trade in that tight range with the upside capped really at that 2070 resistance level and uh, a bit of a good support from 2020 down to about 2000 uh, to the downside. Thank you.